So let's talk about decimal places. So a number such as two seventy point five two four eight is an example of a decimal number. The whole number part is two seventy. This part is called the O number part. Now this is the decimal point. That point is called decimal point. Why this part is called decimal? That means all the numbers before the decimal point is a whole number part and the numbers after the decimal point are called decimal so take notes so if i have 74.342 now after decimal you pronounce the number that is after decimal point you pronounce the number one by one don't say 74.342 no you will say 74.342 call it one by one after the decimal point don't make a mistake there now to approximate a number to a certain decimal places so let's see illustration there so that's just a decimal number so to find the number of decimal places we need to count the numbers after the decimal point so let's see example correct one two that is twelve point zero four two three one two so after the decimal point you count the numbers one by one so a one dp b two dp c five dp so solution so given 12.042312 so how can we approximate this to 1 dp so i have said to find a number of decimal places we need to count the numbers after the decimal point this question completes like this is how many decimal places count all the numbers after the decimal point this is one two three four five six that means this question on its own is six decimal places but now we want to approximate to a one dp so to approximate to one dp it means after the decimal point you should have just one numbers remember you have six numbers at the back so one this is 6 dp like that so one dp means you should just have one number after the decimal points now there are some things you will need to take into consideration also i have known that after 12 one number after the decimal point is zero but now the number that now follow this zero matters if the number that follows zero is from 0 1 2 3 4 so if the numbers that follow this zero is 0 up to 4 you will leave this zero like that but if the numbers that follow that zero is from 5 upward that is 5 6 7 8 9 so if the number that follows this zero is five upward then you are adding one to this zero so for example if the question is 
two three one two so now to approximate this to one decimal places and uh, one decimal place i have to count one number after the decimal point and that number is zero but the number that follow this zero is six so it is from all this number if the number that follows the no uh, where you want to stop is from five upward either five six seven eight nine you are adding one to this so this will not be zero again so it will rather be 12.1 like that so let's go back to our question now so in our own question the number that follows where we want to stop is not up to five so i don't need to add one so that means to one dp here answer is 12 point zero so this is the answer so one dp means after the decimal point you should have one number so that is it so b two dp so twelve point zero four meaning after the decimal point count two numbers that is two dp so this is one two so that is two dp like that two dp c 5 dp it means after the decimal point count five numbers that is 12.04231 that is one two three four five so five numbers after the decimal point is five dp so that is illustration of a decimal places so now let's see more example let's say we have sorry i'm clear the canvas okay let's say correct correct four five six point one two zero five six nine 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 three zero two a one dp b three dp c five dp d seven dp so given one uh, four hundred fifty six point one two zero five six nine nine three zero so to approximate this to one dp it means what count one number after the decimal point so we have four hundred fifty six points now after the decimal point just count one number that will be point one that is the number that follow one you know i have to stop at point one because it's one decimal place but the number that follow one is two it is from zero to four so that means you are not adding anything to this leave it as one but if the number that follow this one is from five six upward then you are adding one to this but for now the number is no more than five or equals to five so this is the answer this is one dp b 456 points now three decimal places after the decimal points count three numbers that is one two three so normal i should write four five four hundred fifty six point one two zero this is what i should write but the number that follow this zero the last number i have here the number that follow is five and if the number is from five upward that follow where you want to stop don't forget then you are adding one to that digit so this will not be zero again it will be one just add one to it but if the number that follow where you want to stop is four or less you don't add anything so in this case my answer is 456.121 like that so that is three decimal places now see 
so this is 3 dp this is 2 uh, 1 dp now 5 dp 456 point now after the decimal count five numbers one two three four five so that means my answer should be one two zero five six normal but the number that follow where i stop at in the six the number that follow is nine so it is from five upward that means i'm adding one to this six so it will now become seven so this is five dp d seven dp so count seven numbers one two three four five six seven so to seven dp now so that will be 456 points one two zero five six nine nine this is one two three four five six seven so this is seven decimal places because we have seven numbers after the decimal points but when you stop here the number that follow nine is nine that means you have to add one to this number so you can't stop like that because the number that follow is from five upward now add one to nine if you add one to this nine so you should stop here but the number that follow is nine this nine so now add one to this nine so if you add one to this nine you see that that nine will become ten so that means we have four five six point one two so this nine will become ten that is i can write ten so you write zero you need to carry one that one you carry it over to the next one don't forget if you add one to nine is ten but you can write ten because our base is ten so that means you have to carry one over so write zero carry one as you carry the one you are still adding to this one too nine plus one again ten so that means this cannot be ten also so you still write zero carry one so my answer will be one two zero five seven zero zero so that will be the answer because as you approximate to this nine it will become ten so each time you add one to nine it will become ten please take notes so that is the answer so that is decimal places so now let me give you what to do then you can send your answer so this is just decimal number so we are going to see significant figure next so but try this correct correct one two three point four five six zero zero nine eight seven six five four two a three dp b seven dp c five dp d 8 dp so to approximate to a decimal number you have to count the number of decimal uh, the numbers after the decimal places so 1 dp means count one number after the decimal place two and the decimal point two decimal places means count two numbers one two and take note of the number that follow where you want to stop so if the number is four downward you don't add anything but if the number is five upward you are adding one don't forget so try this then let's move to significant figures